Okay, we're getting ready for another uh, rainstorm. Maybe the last of the season here in Stockton, California, um, a drought center, a place of farming, but where we have now very little water. We're gonna do some rain harvesting. This off the back, just the back part of my garage, I have collected 165 gallons of water in this drizzly little tiny 0.35 of an inch rainstorm already and we're getting ready for tonight's storm to fill up another 55 gallon drum, possibly another drum after that. Okay, so just to show you what we've done, we, we take the, uh, uh, from the gutter system on the house, cut that off up nice and high, put on an angle piece, and put a five gallon plastic bucket, one that's, you know, from paint or something. Um, make sure you clean it out a little bit. And then I use some fittings. Two, I'm using two inch fittings, so I have nice free flow, easy, no, no, you know, problem with it making it through nice big screen pieces can fit in there and you can save your old toilet fittings and things with rubber gaskets to help make sure that everything fits in without um, leaking. I have an overflow here that goes down to the storm drain system if, I, if it's an emergency and that's set up higher than the intake to my first big okay, sediment trap flows into primary tank and then um, you have the bung holes. This is an unmodified drum, blows over, and then if I need to, I can add on another one here. Notice I, I don't, I haven't glued anything. It just fit these together. It's a little leaky, but it works. Most of the leaks will just drain away, no problem. Now, um, after I fill these up, the challenge of moving them is like impossible. This thing when full is extremely difficult to move. I have a little dolly for one here, okay? But basically, you can leave it, uh, you can either put it up on top of permanent, uh, you know, uh, place like this that I've made out of some old lumber, used lumber, or you can um, try to just leave it where it is and use a hose to exit out of the um, barrels during the hot summer time when you don't want to use your water. Now, there's two ways that we've got to move the water, actually three. The first one that I had was with this barrel pump, and it is 15 bucks online, and it works and moves about eight ounces or one cup per pump. Um, my wife didn't like that one. It's a lot of work even just to fill this thing up to water the potted plants. So another way to get water out of the barrel um, when you want to use it to water your plants, potted plants, or even just a tree in the hot of the summer, um, is to use you know something like this. You can get these at Home Depot for about nine bucks. What is now, it? Um, it's a little, it's a self-priming pump, but you still you want to get the. Um, let's see if I can get this thing tightened on here. Get it close to the barrel, otherwise it'll it'll probably burn out before it gets the water through. You can take um, another pipe and, and oops, wrong type in, but you got the idea. Take another hose and attach it to here and run it out as far as you want. What I'm just doing though today is to show you how it works. Um, let's see here. Does that give you plenty of water? You got the idea? Okay, so now um, we just disconnect it, pull the hose out of there, and then, and then to save our water so it doesn't disappear, we just uh, go ahead and put the bung back into it and put this away. Try to keep a full battery charge on this so you'll get better results. And okay. Okay, now, you know, you can get fancy with pumps, you know, drill pump and all this, but the old fashioned way and simplest way, if you've got, especially if you've got the, the barrels up high, um, you know, some people have them on a deck or something where it's really up high, is to just simply siphon the water out of the barrel. You know, it's like stealing water, right? Or, or stealing gasoline or something. Just get down the other end, suck it, and if you uh, get a nice long hose going, you can drain right into your, you know, where you want the water and just let it, it doesn't have to drain fast. It can just drain it, you know, a little dribble at a time 
and you'll be watering a tree with 55 gallons of water within not very long at all.